champions, we are back with a small element of deja vu. <laughs> Before we go down that road, I'm Jax, this is JD Creations. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button and ring that bell. Because if you weren't new here, then you know what I'm about to talk to you about. Do you remember this? This is the last build I did. Let's just get rid of that. So, if you saw that one, utter fail. Well, I did manage to save it, but the original idea was a fail. So, we're gonna try and improve on that technique today. I went out and got myself some more suitable equipment and I'm gonna be playing with a much more forgiving timber. This is she oak. This stuff is absolutely easy to turn. It is beautiful, but it is only a small piece that I have. So this is just gonna be like a small littered box probably and we'll see how it turns out. I might even do a giveaway with it. Who knows? So if you didn't see the last project, head on over there now, check out that so that you can see what we're working with today. I'm not gonna go into the process too much. It's just gonna be more of the build footage to see if I can make a successfully square turned piece. Shit's about to get weird. So it's no secret that patience is something we do not have an abundance of in this workshop. And I am just about done with this technique. I just can't seem to get a timber that won't burst out. But I'm gonna push on with one more blank. She's marked out, ready to go on both sides. I'm not sure what this is. I think it might be Jara, which isn't gonna bode well for this experiment at all. But I am really struggling to find the right size piece of timber. I've got a ton of bowl blanks, but none of those will work. Well, they would, but I don't wanna cut them up for this project because they're nice and I'm gonna make some nice bowls out of them eventually. So, onto the Jara experiment.
Well, I'm glad that we didn't give up in the end. It's tiny, but it is a square turning from the lathe. Check that out. That's pretty cool. And there's a little bit of room inside for like a ring, something like that, you know, something small. The timber did turn out to be Jarrah, as I suspected at the start, but it was surprisingly easier to turn than I was anticipating that it would be. So pretty happy with the end results on this one. This is probably the smallest littered box I've ever turned, I reckon. So I'm going to be giving this one away to one of my Patreon subscribers. So if you want a chance to win this box, head on over to patreon.com forward slash JD Creations, sign up to become a Patreon supporter of the channel over there and you'll go in the draw to win that little box. Every tier is eligible for an entry on this one so you can sign up to any level you like. Once again you saw me using the custom creations custom grit to finish this piece off. I did do a review on this stuff recently and I've got a full set of finishing products to give away from custom creations. So if you'd like to win a set of step one and step two with the custom grit as well as some liquid wax and some custom wax head on over to my channel check out my custom grit review because details on how you can enter are in that video. And with any luck, the competition is still open for you to get your entry in. I will be drawing that competition after I hit the 2000 subscriber mark on my channel. So if you're not subscribed, what the hell are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and ring that little notification bell. This one certainly turned out better than the first attempt at this square turning method. But if you want to see how this is done properly, head on over to Dreadnought Woodshop. Daryl is a pro at this method and he's actually where I got this idea from. So pay his channel a visit, check out his videos, especially if you really want to learn how to do this yourself. That is all from me today. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to check out more of my content, I've got one queued up right here that I think you're going to enjoy and YouTube's going to drop its two cents down here with what it thinks you're going to like. Stay safe guys, look after yourself. Until the next one, I will see you later.